Hey guys, Rich here from digitalentrepreneurs.co and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can link up your Aweber account to your Optimized Press landing page. And importantly, the real purpose of the video is to show you how you can get around that double opt-in default setting which for some reason Aweber forces you down when you try to link up your list to your Optimized Press landing pages. So what we'll do, we'll jump on the computer, once you see I'll step you through it, it's super simple um, the reason I put the video together is because I, I struggled for a little while to find out how to do it. I searched online, I couldn't really find anyone taking me through the steps, so I thought, what the heck, once I solved it, I, put, I thought I'll put a video up and hopefully maybe you're struggling with it as well and it'll show you how to do it. Really easy. Let's go. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, all right, so first of all, we use Optimize Press uh, for our landing pages, but it's not our main website theme. So. For our main website theme, we use um, what's called Divi from Elegant Themes. Um, so we can still use, if you've got Divi um, and you're watching this video, you can still use Optimized Press because they do have some really cool um, landing pages. You just have a look at the templates, the landing pages and thank you pages. They're already pre sort of laid out for you, um, which are awesome. And um, so you can use Optimized Press as a plugin. So we use it as a plugin. Um, and so uh, we found when we tried to set up our email list, um, our Aweber email list to the Optimized Press account, that it there's a uh, you know the default setting of going to the double opt-in, which I mentioned before. So this whole video is about how to get over that um, and get around it, so you don't need to do the double opt-in. You can just go with a single opt-in. Um, and so what we've got here is I'm in the uh, WordPress our WordPress um, account for the website. Um, for our website, digital-entrepreneurs.co and then what we've got um, is, let's go to the dashboard and you'll see if you've come in here and you've tried to set it up for the first time um, and sorry, what I was going to say with the opt-in is, sorry, with the uh, plugin is that if you're um, using Optimized Press as your main theme for your website, I'm assuming this is going to be the same setup, I'm not sure, so we've only got the plug-in set up so hopefully it works the same um, so just looking at the way you would set up your uh, email list so it's this email marketing services and when you go in there you can see all the different uh, options and you can have a look at Aweber um, that's what this video is about and you can see here it says Aweber API connection um, and so we're disconnected you can see it's disconnected so this what we did originally was we connected it and did the whole API number thing and um, thought it worked really cool but then you can see this note here the Aweber API only currently supports double opt-in subscribe methods so all contacts will be required to confirm their email so what that means is um, Aweber you know there's people out there that I suppose they just buy email lists and so they just dump um, email lists onto a new list on Aweber and um, you like you and I could have signed up to an email list for something else maybe about the topic of you know learning how to build a business online and all of a sudden someone's um, you know selling car parts or I don't know some junk and they've added you they've bought an email list from someone that person that you had your your name to so you had you didn't want to join the the car parts uh, email list um, and so Aweber kind of stops that by um, you know putting in this double opt-in which means the first email you get will be a confirm you want to subscribe to this email list. So, but Aweber does give you the option to just go with a single opt-in, which means they don't get that email. The first email they get is actually, you know, the first email in your follow-up series, which is what your, your the information you're, you're sending them, the free information. Um, you know, for people, for, if you're like Peter and I, my wife and I, you know, we, um, you know, we're just all about adding, trying to add as much value to people's, um, you know, days, lives as we can. So, you know, when people sign up to our email list, they go to our landing page, you know, we, you know, they've gone through our advert, through our content, and they've seen that they want to join our email list. So we we don't want to, you know, have to put them through that whole double opt-in process. So um, Aweber gives you the option to, to not do it. The problem here is when you try to do it with Optimized Press is they, um, it's a default setting. So you can see here, use the custom form um, integration method in your opt-in form options to integrate standard Aweber web forms with our system to retain your single opt-in if you require it. So that's what we want to do. And what that means, the custom form, I'll just show you. So I uh, pre-populated this 
uh, awesome landing page, and um, that's what I called it. And uh, yeah, so it's yeah you know, just a dummy landing page for this exercise. And so the custom form is so this opt-in uh, module here. So let's just go in and edit it. So we go into the Optimize Press Live Editor. Let's say how I um, update the form, the, sh the page. Hide that. All right. So we've got um, here's the uh, opt-in box, and so you. Click on a little pencil. I haven't changed any of this wording, so I'm not sure what it says. But to so you can, you know, customize this by again pressing a little pencil. But I'm wanting to link the form in the background, so that's what we're aiming to do. All right, so here we go. Form HTML. So you've got the integration type. You can have the the list, or um, so if you had connected the API Aweber, it would be an option here when you clicked on that. Because um, we haven't, because it's disconnected, it doesn't appear there. So the custom form here is what that um, little bit of information was talking about. So I'm going to show you how to do the custom form. So let's jump across to your Aweber account. And so when you go into your Aweber account, you'll see at the top of the headings here, sign up forms. Um, there's a form there I was testing before um, for this video. So what you want to do is go ahead and create a sign up form. So just a normal sign up form is good enough. Okay, and that will bring up, you can see, so you've got the design, so there's these type templates that Aweber has, so you've got design, settings, and publish. When I first did this, I thought I had to design it, because I thought when people clicked on that, um, that yellow button, that the form would pop up would be this form, but what I found out um, is it's not, it's still the optimized press form, which is great, because that one looks a lot more professional um, and really attractive and is consistent with the landing page. So you can just ignore this. Don't worry about um, doing any changes here. Just hit Save Form. OK, take you through to the next step. You can now give it a name. So let's just call it the Awesome Landing Page Form. Um, and then you can link it to a thank you page, which means when they do put their name in, um, what's the URL you want to send them to? You've got basic stuff. We want to actually send them to a custom page, so use your own URL. So we're going to enter our URL here. And so we've got a thank you page, which we'll just copy the URL. Okay. There's the thank you. Open this in a new window, or you know, it's your choice. We just let it open in the same window and then go to save form okay go to the next step and so here's where you're going to grab the html um, code so you've got i will install my form my web designer will install it have it look this is so simple you guys anyone can do it right so just go into this i will install install my form and you don't want the javascript you want the raw html okay so grab that so just click on it, it'll highlight the whole, um, come off it. So when you click on it, it just highlights it all in blue. And so you can just copy it, come back to your landing page, and, and then we go custom form, and then here's the form ATM, uh, I'm sorry, HTML is what it's asking for. So just paste that in there as plain text, and hit insert. And look, I didn't change any of this, but you know, that, and that same uh, little pencil, that's where you can change all the wording and get it right for yourself. But um, really, it's just about getting the form set up. So just press um, update, and you are done. And that is, that is as simple as it is. It's not really hard. You know, you've just got the form you've created here, you've got the custom link. And I suppose the one thing, oh, my dogs are about to go crazy barking at the dog across the road. <laughs> the um the one thing I did miss is important is make sure you grab the right list so the the list that you want to be sending this landing page to needs to be the selected up here the current list when you set up that sign up form okay so as long as you've done that part right grab the code um you know drop it into there that's it it's it's really that so make sure you hit save and continue or save and close um, publish if you haven't already published this is just a test form so I'm not going to pop publish it but you know it really is um, really is as simple, simple as that so 
hit yes, send me the form, boof, if I put my email address in there, it would send it to me, actually, let's do it, let's do it, all right, hang on, I've got my dog on my knee, hop down, all right, enter your email address, so, let's go, um, uh, what would we put in here, incredible beings, there it is, all right, and then, rich, okay, I think I might already be on this list, but let's see if it sends it to me anyway. Will it work? Will it work? Testing, testing. Boom! There it is. Cool. Okay, so you can see it just takes you straight through. So that's why you don't have to worry about the, um, you know, that the template form in in Aweber because um, you don't need it. It just as long as you've got that HTML code and it's going to the right list. And if I went into my emails, I'd be getting that first email coming through. So it all works perfect. All right. So hopefully that's really helpful. Um, and hopefully, you know, if you've found this video helpful, just, you know, put some comments below and um, we'll see you on the next video. Okay.